Get ready for a new innovation for motorcyclists. No, it's not a motorcycle. No, it's not the engine of a motorcycle. It's the turbine. There's a company called Tough Turbine. They've designed a new and improved turbine. What? The designer, Vic Bath. Vic, what is a traditional turbine made out of? It's made from various fabrics. Um, it's kind of changed throughout the years. Um, we started with the idea of using cotton, as we knew that was a good base, and we kind of developed beyond that. For uh, but so, okay. so but just so that I understand here, because I'm not too savvy with with sure. with turbines, but it's just basically cotton material. Yes, it can be a bunch of different material. Yeah, okay. a lot of it is cotton, but I've seen stuff with silk. Uh, we've seen like uh, different kind of materials being used. So it really depends on the wearer. So. This material for this tough turbine is not made out of silk or cotton. Let's get geeky here and really explain to me what, what as an example, non-Newtonian foam is. Take it from there. Sure, yeah. Non-Newtonian foam is something that you see in a lot of like motorcycle gear. Um, it's really just foam that hardens on impact, which is a really cool thing. Um, and the idea is that it makes things more impact resistant. We use the foam because it's flexible and would uh, work well in our applications. But one of the really exciting aspects to the foam is that it hardens on impact. We also use a thing called Dyneema, which is often used in military grade body armor. So it's actually like bulletproof level. Um, wow. Wow. Stuff. Yeah. And we've used this thing, which is really cool, is the idea that we've created within the turbine um, 3D printed chain armor or chain mail. Um, which is kind of harkens back to when Sikhs would go off into battle. Uh, they'd create, uh, have chainmail underneath their turbans. Uh, and we kind of brought that into the more modern way of doing that. Okay, so unless you're some sort of engineer, <laughs> which I'm what, not. What, in, what in heaven's name uh, possessed you to, to go forward and create a new turban, number one? But um, number two, how did you find out about all of this stuff that you just told me about? Yeah, good question. So we have helmet exemption laws in Canada and different provinces. Um, and for me, I thought that was great. It's a great uh, symbol of inclusivity. And I thought, well, if we can find a way to celebrate the fact that we're celebrating people's personal beliefs, but also is there something we can do to uh, innovate in a way that um, has the latest uh, protective gear from motorcycle uh, manufacturers and kind of combine those two worlds uh, to create uh, not necessarily a replacement but an alternative to the modern turbine. Tying a turban really expresses my personality and my religion and my culture. It allows me to show other people who I am and what I am, and, and um, even if they have questions or don't have any idea who or what I am, then it's uh, very obviously easy for them to ask questions or even approach me and come up to me and inquire in terms of what it is on my head or what a turban is in terms of my religion and my culture. Heaven forbid there's an impact. Heaven forbid that a rider goes down who's wearing a turban. What's the difference between a traditional turbine and the results of that accident and one of the turbines that this tough turbine that you've created? Yeah, it's a good question. Uh, so in terms of testing, we know that all the material within the turbine has been heavily tested on its own. So like that non-Newtonian foam, Dyneema and stuff like that. Um, in terms of actually doing physically testing, that's going to be the next steps for us. So we're, we've gotten um, outreach from manufacturers from around the globe and they've talked to us. So I think the next step is going to be seeing how we can partner with them and seeing how their local laws can help test uh, the turbine for their market. Vic, why was this important to you? Yeah, great question. Um, for me, the idea really spawned from uh, my dad, who mm. grew up in a small, small village in India and always dreamed of owning a Harley. Um, and that, to him, just represented the ultimate in freedom. And so for me, it's like, if this means that much to him, it must surely mean that much to a lot of Sikh motorcycle riders. And how can I uh, create an innovation just for them? What does he think of his son and this idea? Oh, he loves it. Yeah. <laughs> does he say to you, okay, son, once this becomes very successful, where's my Harley? <laughs> well, he got it. He finally, oh. in life, he got a 100th anniversary Harley Sportster. Um, and he rarely rides it. But just the fact that he owns it is just like, Finally, I got that little piece of freedom that 
I've always wanted. So that's kind of great. So what kind of cost are you thinking of? And when do you think we might be able to see this as a mainstream item? I think it's a little early to understand that right now, as we're talking to a bunch of people um, and each has their own kind of cost benefit with that. Uh, but we're hoping to make this available for as many people as we can. Cannot wait for the day. Um, I know that the website is, is fantastic. You've done a really great, great job with the the understanding of what the helmet, or, or not the helmet, but what the turban looks like, the tough turban. Uh, toughturban.com, toughturban.com, yes? That is right, yeah. When you get this thing in production, I want one. Yeah, you could probably make one your own. So we've actually open sourced the design. So anyone around the world can download the blueprints um, if you know how to do that kind of stuff with uh, product making and you can make your own. Vic Bath, Tough Turban. Thank you, sir. And uh, safe riding, okay? Appreciate it. Thank you.